So in today's video, I'm going to be going over my February favorites. I have a lot of stuff this week. I had beauty products, hair products, snacks, books, iPhone cases, like it's all over the place so I want to jump into it. Um, I just want to say really quick that of course my neighbors are deciding to put some brick stuff around their pool so there's like a lot of construction um, going on over there so sorry if you hear that. So I have everything laid out here in front of me and I'm just going to get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I want to mention is layering pieces. I've been really, really into layering a whole bunch of watches and bangles and bracelets. I only used to like to wear a watch on my hand and that was it. But lately, I'm getting really into layering a whole bunch of pieces other than a watch. So first, I want to show you guys the watches that I've been kind of rotating. Um, there's three of them. And then I'm going to show you guys a couple of my favorite pieces of jewelry that I like to pair with my watches. So actually, first I should go over the bracelet that I never take off. Um, it's upside down. Let me fix it. This one right over here is um, from Colombia. My grandmother gave it to me and it's kind of a religious bracelet. So I keep that bracelet on all the time. It, I never take it off. Um, and then on top of that, I like to put my favorite watches. So I'm going to go over those real quick. This one, you guys all know what I'm going to hold up. This is uh, one of my watches from Go Jane, and it is a white and gold bracelet. This is what it looks like, and it's really, really pretty. Again, it was only like $20 at gojane.com. I get so many questions. Almost every video, somebody has to bring something up about this watch. And then my other two watches are from Send the Trend, and these are what the little baggie looks like that they send it in. And I'm going to get these out to show them to you guys. They're very different from each other, so really depending on if I want to wear silver that day or gold that day. I, I'm weird. I like to have all silver jewelry or all gold on. I don't really like to switch it up. So these are my two watches that I use a lot. And Send the Trend is another monthly subscription service. But this one is for nothing but accessories. So they have watches, they have scarves, they have sunglasses, jewelry, uh, a little bit of everything. They even have purses. And I believe it is $29.99 a month. And I do have another code for you guys down below that I believe it is $20 off your first purchase or 20%. No, I think it's $20 off your first purchase. So I'm going to put that down below, but I just want to show you guys. I love to order watches from that website because I think $29.99 for a watch is really, really good. So this is the first one. I think this is called the Lydell Bracelet Watch, which I really like because it looks like a bracelet, basically. So this is a black face. It looks like that. And then has these links right there. And I think this is so pretty because it really does look like a bracelet. I have like abnormally, abnormally um, skinny wrists. So this really does look like a bracelet on me because half the time you see mostly these chains. These chains which um, alternate from black and silver. And the other watch I am so, so in love with because I really love the look of those Michael Kors rose gold watches but I just can't afford them. I can't spend $400 on a watch and rose gold is really, really expensive. Um, but this one looks like rose gold. It's not real gold. Don't get me wrong. This is what it looks like. So it has a rose gold face like that or a rose gold tone, I should say, uh, face or frame to it. And it's the same as the other one. It has those three little clocks or little faces inside the bigger one. And then the outside of the watch is really pretty as well. It's this kind of clear lucite material and I love it. It's really cool looking. It's really different and I think it's a really edgy piece. This one opens up completely, this one doesn't, has that type of closure. But they're very sturdy watches, they have a good weight to them, and I think that they're an excellent price for $30 each. So those are the watches that I like to alternate, but I'm going to show you guys the jewelry that I like to pair with them. I really like wearing chunky bangles and stuff. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones, this is from H&M, I pair this one a lot up with my watches. This one is another one of my favorites. I use this on my springtime um, how to wear ankle booties video. This is what it looks like. It's just little angel wings. I wear this one a lot too. This is from H&M. This is another one of my favorite ones because it, the profile is so cool and different. It has like these little pyramids. This is what it looks like. This is from Jewel Mint a while back. I don't think it's available anymore. And then you can't ever go wrong with just simple bangles and I really like the look of these. They don't look that cheap. You know, sometimes like at Forever 21, H&M, you can find those cheap looking ones. I think these are really cute and they sparkle a lot as you can see. And I believe these were like $3 at Forever 21. 
Okay, so since I've been really into layering a bunch of pieces on my arms, I like to keep it really simple on my ears. And that's my next favorite, which is stud earrings. I want to show you guys um, this little craft that I kind of made, and I'm not a crafty person at all. This is really easy to make. I actually took um, one of my jewel mint boxes, and I cut the top of it off, and it has like this felt material inside that you can just stick your studs in so that's what I did I made this it took me like under a minute and this is how I um, store my studs but I have about four of these boxes that are already filled with a whole bunch of studs these are just my favorite ones and basically what I do is I just pick it up and put it right in and it stays for the most part so that's my another favorite of mine for this week just wearing studs and these are the ones that I reach for the most I just wanted to hold this up and show you guys how I store them because I thought this was a really cool idea and yeah, I was pretty proud of myself for inventing this. Okay, next is nail polish, and I have been getting a couple questions on the nail polish that I've been wearing in my last two videos. I've had this nail polish on already for about three weeks. So this is what it looks like, and I have had it on my nails for, like I said, a pretty long time right now, and there is no chips, but I just really love the color. So this one is from um, Forever 21, both of them are actually, and this is called Beige. That's the color. It's a really, really pretty beige color. It's a very nude, opaque color, so that's been one of my favorites. And then this one, I'm trying to look for everywhere, but it's hard to find it. This one is called Nude, and it's similar, but it has more of a peachy color. So I'm going to hold them both side by side so you can see the difference. This one is um, Nude, and this one is Beige. And they're both 280 at Forever 21, and I love their nail polishes. They just last such a long time. My next favorite is my concealer and you guys probably already know what it is. It's a foundation. It's marketed as a foundation but it's so so heavy coverage that it really works as a concealer for me. And it's the CoverGirl Aqua Smooth and I just got a new one so I can show you guys without it being all gross. And mine is in buff beige. That's what it looks like and I like to pair this with my flat top kabuki brush or just a normal um, flat foundation brush. And normally I just use this where I have scarring. Just on my cheeks a little bit on my forehead and that's it if you have pretty bad skin you can use this all over that is how I started with this okay so next is a new dry shampoo that I checked out and it's actually by Suave and it's called the salon proven dry shampoo spray and this is what it looks like a lot of you guys know that my favorite is the Batiste or Batiste this is what it looks like however in order to find this I need to go to Sally's Beauty Supply or Beauty Supply Store they don't really have this at every CVS um, or Walgreens or Target some of them do some of them don't but it's a little bit hard to find and it's a little bit pricey um, so I decided to try out this new one by Suave and it works really really good I like it a lot one that I also tried a while back was the Tresemme Fresh Start Dry Shampoo and I hate it. This one is clay based and it really feels like, I can't even describe it, it would make my hair, my hair feel more dirty than anything. Um, I didn't like it at all so if you tried this and you didn't like it, definitely try the Suave. I have it on my hair today, it doesn't leave that white residue and it really does just soak up the oils and really refresh my hair so I can use second day hair and I don't have to wash my hair every day. Okay, and next has to do with my eyebrows. Now, I did do an updated eyebrow routine, which by the way, guys, I found out how to use my camera on its HD setting. So I think I'm going to be doing a lot of those videos over in HD so you guys can actually see a lot better. But anyway, so in that video with my eyebrows, I used the Revlon Colorstay Brow Enhancer, which I love it. It's a tinted wax pencil and it looks like that. It looks like a normal pencil um, but it's actually a tinted wax. It's not like um, an eyeliner. It's, it's not that dark. It's a, a wax so it's a lot more sheer and natural looking. So I've been using this one by Colorstay, Revlon Colorstay, but the thing is it ran out so fast. I had this for about a month and a half and it ran out and I was like oh my gosh it's like ten dollars. I can't spend that much on it every single month. That's going to add up really fast. So I tried a new one on the market and this one is by Maybelline and it's called the Master Shape um, by iStudio, I guess, eyebrow pencil. And again, it was really hard for me to find because a lot of eyebrow pencils are really just a pencil and I wanted a tinted wax pencil. Now this one has more product in it than the Revlon Colorstay one. This, the Revlon Colorstay has .005 and the Maybelline one has .02, so there's a lot more product in this one. The Revlon Colorstay came with a highlighter, a cream highlighter on one end that I did not like. I never used it, 
and the Maybelline one comes with a brush which I like so much better and next is what I'm wearing on my lips and I have been really into wearing bright um, lipsticks but not really really overpoweringly bright so I have a, a Revlon lipstick here it's called Siren and this is what it looks like and it's really really bright I'm going to swatch it for you guys it's very pigmented and opaque like oh my god in your face type of orange but what I like to do is kind of just blot it on so it's like a stain and then what I put over that is my Wet n Wild 900B which is a really pretty peachy color. It's a peachy nude. So I mix both of those together basically and that is what I've been wearing on my lips for the month of February. And that's it for the beauty products. Next I want to get into some miscellaneous items. One is this phone case that I ordered off eBay for my iPhone 4 and this is what it looks like. It's so cute. It's a little Hello Kitty bow and it has um, like a light pink corally color frame around. This case was like under three dollars and next is a book that I have been completely obsessed with since I got this book I seriously cannot put it down and I am NOT a reader usually I only like to read magazines and blogs and that's about it I really I'm not a reader but um, a lot of people recommended this book to me and it's called don't sweat the small stuff and it's all small stuff by Richard Carlson this is what it looks like and oh my god you guys I have been obsessed with this book it's just such an inspiring book it makes me in a good mood every day when I read this book it seriously puts me in a good mood now I am gonna show you guys junk food which I've kind of been into for this month which isn't the best thing but it's not like I have it every single day but everybody has to have a little bit of junk food right so the first thing is these veggie straws this is from Costco see if I can show you guys what they look like they're like almost gone there's like nothing in here but this is what they look like they're like little straws basically and they're like flavored with tomato and spinach and potato it says they're not great for you but they're more healthy than if you were like to have a bag of cheese doodles but they're not healthy it's not gonna like nourish your body okay next is this crunch and munch buttery toffee popcorn I got this because we were going to the movies and all the time when we go to the movies like I go stock up at big lots or at one of my supermarkets and I bring a big bag and I kind of put everything in there and I sneak it in because it's like so expensive to buy candy and popcorn at the movies and my favorite candy I got this at Walmart they, they have like a big tub of um, candy for like 80 cents or something and I love these they're called gob stoppers or as Richie calls them gobble stoppers but that's not what the real name is and they're so good they're just these um, jaw breakers Let's see if I can get them out they are these jaw breakers that they change colors and flavors so they're so good and my last favorite is tea I have been obsessed with tea for such a long time ever since like high school and my friends would make fun of me because we would be going to the diner you know late at night and I would order tea and everybody would be looking at me like I'm an old lady or something but I just always love the taste of tea and now I'm really into it kind of after a long day or when I'm stressed out tea it's like it's just so relaxing and calming to have at the end of the day so my favorite number one is probably green tea and this one is by Bigelow it's my favorite I get it at Target comes with a big bag of like 40 tea bags and it's so good I just have my green tea with sugar I have this every single morning and every single night my other favorite is also by Bigelow and it's the Earl Grey tea and this is a tea that's a little bit more strong so if you're not really that into tea I wouldn't recommend trying this one at first but it also has a really nice flavor and again I have this with just sugar and then my last one is peppermint tea. Now a lot of people don't know the secret of peppermint tea. This was actually used way, way, way back in the day as medicine before, you know, other medicine was invented. This was really great for people that had upset stomachs or nausea. It just um, seems like all the acid in your stomach and whatever is making you feel sick or nauseous, it's all absorbed um, and the peppermint just neutralizes everything in your stomach and it really does help me feel better. So pure peppermint tea. And the absolute last thing that I want to show you guys is what I used to drink my tea in. How adorable is this? And I, if you guys watch Judy and Benji, which I am obsessed with watching their videos, like 
Richie knows who they are. My sister knows who they are because I'm always watching their videos. I, I love them so much. Um, they have this tea set and I was like, oh my God, I want that so bad. So I just did a search on Google Shopping and I actually found them at Coldwater Creek for $24 including shipping. So this is a little teapot and it's this little owl. He is so cute. It came with a diffuser, which I don't have in there right now, but a little, that's the little cap. And then it comes with the two little owl cups and they're just so cute. So I use this every single morning and every single night when I'm drinking my tea. So that's basically it for all my favorites um, for the month of February. Again, I'm sorry guys that there's so much noise in the background. I'm hoping that the camera isn't picking it up too much, but I'm right by my door to my porch. So they're like working 20 feet away into the next yard. And it's so, so loud. And I'm sorry if you had to hear it throughout the whole video. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's any questions, let me know. Uh, friend me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.